ever since I built the terraces, I have been saying, this will be a park. Look, this is so pretty. It will be, but it is actually very pretty. I do like this little pond. It was here when I came here. I haven't altered it. Oh, I added a couple of blocks here today, but you know, it's beside the point. I haven't taken this tree down. It's been what it's been. <laughs> but it's not going to be anymore because I have decided that having this as a park actually makes no sense. This is the poor part of town, the dirty industrial part of town. Having a park here? No. The park, if we shift over here, is going to go here, next to the town hall, towards the good part of town. Yes, I know classist separation, but you know, that's what history was. Huh. So like it or lump it, we're going to have to get rid of the park. <laughs> I really don't like it. I really am going to have to lump it. So I'll start by filling all this in. I will get rid of the park and then we're going to build something right here. Ow! Oh, what a way to get started. Ugh. As I was about to say before I was so rudely interrupted, the park is gone and I have laid out where the new building is going to be. So we may as well start with that. Ta-da! Brilliant, isn't it? Haha. -ha. Uh, one two, three, four, leave a gap of three, and then all the way to the end. So it's just going to be a simple two-story building out of stone brick, and it's going to have a chimney. So I'll get building, and we'll see where we end up. I'm just taking a quick train journey into Spawn. I'm heading to the Lumbering Pig. I want to see what Picklesworth has for his weekly specials this week. I'm really hoping it's chests and barrels because that's what I need. Here we are. What ho, Picklesworth? Let's go talk to Wilbur. Oh, tra oh, oh, it's not barrels and chests which I need, but it's trapdoors which I have an unhealthy addiction to. Uh, yeah, all right. Piggy, you're making more diamonds out of me. <laughs> oh, what do we need? Uh, we'll take some acacia. We'll take some birch. I always need dark oak. I'll take two of those. Some jungle, some oak, and I'll get some spruce. No, I'll get some more birch as well. I feel like I haven't bought enough. <laughs> a 
like I said, unhealthy addiction. Um, all right. There's no chest, so we'll get some oak logs. Six, seven. No, I'm not going to make that many barrels and chests, but I thought I may as well restock my oak chest while I'm here. My oak storage, I mean. Okay. Back to home, back to work, meet you there. Oops. Oops. We've got a lighting issue somewhere. How dare you? Uh. He came from down here. They're okay. He probably came from here. And I'm off into town again. Well, not really. I'm off to the nether. I need some soul soil. I've only got soul sand at the moment. So there's a soul sand valley just under spawn. So that's where I'm going. I have been so unprepared this episode. <laughs> I feel like I'm always going back to get something or buy something or get something out of a box. But I don't want to take the stuff that's right close to spawn. So we're going to head over here, go out a little ways and pick up some soul soil. Up here should be fine. Oh, I keep forgetting I've got soul speed on my boots. <laughs> We've got a squatter in the shop. We're not open yet. Go away. No bargains for you. Ooh, but he gave me a hat. I like that. Sorry, I'm just moving this door. So what's with this place that the zombies are so desperate to shop in? <laughs> this is a mercantile. It was suggested by Anjanette, aka AJ Bunny Slippers. And it's for storing all my odd blocks. Things that don't necessarily fit in one particular specialised place. And when I started this, I was thinking, well, you know, it, I need a building here and it's the perfect building for here. It really is. I mean, it gives context to the town hall. It looks great with the terraces. It's good across the road from the Workers' Institute. But I thought, well, you know, to start off with, I'll only be storing like feathers or something. But the more I've run backwards and forwards to get things for this build, the more I've gone, oh, yeah, that needs to be in here. And that needs to be in here. And that needs to be in here. <laughs> But nothing's going to be in here until we get some storage in here. So let's get going. And um, we'll start with the crafting table in the corner and some shelves around it. And speaking of shelving, some actual shelving. Now this is a Victorian or Edwardian style shop to so we'll put them here so you don't just walk in and get what you want off the shelves and take it to a cash register I need four more barrels you don't do that at all all that wood I bought from Piggy it's not enough I have to go get some more I mean don't get me wrong there was a counter I'm gonna put it in in a minute um, one there and one there and now we can put the counter in that's a counter that's better and we'll finish doing these in the middle barrel there another one there and one there Oh, hopefully that's all I need. No, you you didn't come in. <sighs> Back in a minute. No, you didn't come in here and pull things off the shelves and take them to a cash register 
and take them out with you. It was much more civilised than that. Oh, that's going to take a little bit of an effort. Let's put these in. And we'll make a shelf of books. It was much more civilised than that. Uh, one, two, three, I think. You came in, you sat down in a chair. The shopkeeper or an assistant would ask what you wanted, would go around pick out all the goods for you. They'd be tallied up, you'd pay for them, and then the shop boy would deliver them to you later on. No need to lug baskets of groceries around. I think it's a brilliant idea. Um, we want things on shelves. We want shelves in the right place. All right, things on shelves. And we want window displays. Let's put a ledger on the counter. And I think we can have a book for sale. What do you think? Uh, I think we turn it around. That's better. And some jars. We're almost done. As I said, window display. So we'll start with this. That's what we want. Now we do that again here. We're going to put some bonnets on display in the window. A yellow one and a pink one. That's not bad. Oh, and one specialty item. A special blue lantern. Well, there we are. It's not one of Spiderweb Ninja's interiors. Oh my goodness, you need to go check her out. Her interiors are amazing. But, I don't know, it's, it's, I think it's quite good for what it is. It looks like a Victorian mercantile store. And it's in keeping with this part of town, with the poorer end of town. It's not big and posh and intimidating. Anyone can walk in here and feel that, yes, they can buy something and they'll be welcome. Yeah. What we might do, though, is have a look at the rest of the shop. Because, I mean, this is the main shop. But we've got a little storage room out the back. With just some extra bits and bobs, some extra mannequins, some more crates. This is where the daylight sensors is kept. And then if we come round here, we have a little flat for the shopkeeper. So we've got a little kitchen area with a stove in the chimney, a little eating area, kitchen cabinets. Every house should have bookshelves, every single one. We've got a nice cosy little bedroom. I might put some curtains up. If we come through here, we've got a little attic. Just with all those extra things stored away that households accumulate and you know you don't want to throw them out but you don't know what to do with them. This has been a really relaxing build. Nothing untoward has happened. There was a creeper in the alley but we took care of him. Might need to put gates on the alley. But I think this has turned out really well. I really love this build. Thank you so much, Anjanette, for suggesting it. Oh, I love the shop window. That is the business. And speaking of business, uh, let's, where are we going to put it? On the letterbox? On the letterbox. 
Mercantile. Anjanette. Thank you, Anjanette. What a brilliant idea. I absolutely love it. <laughs> ah, I'm going to start shifting everything into here now, all the odds and ends and bits and bobs. And while I'm doing that, go check out the other alphas. And there are end cards on the screen if you want to keep watching things that are more interesting than me shifting items. Bye!